Hi folks, I wanted to show you a sad sight. This is a Cox Cadet Camper. Uh, manufactured up in uh, North Carolina, I believe. Back in the 70s. I, I've got the exact year model on it, but I don't remember it offhand. But uh, this used to be my grandfather's camper. Now, as you can see, uh, it's totally ruined at this point and needs to be rebuilt from the ground up. Uh, these bunk ends here fold out. This one folds this way. The one underneath it folds that way. And uh, you have a dome of uh, canvas over the top. As you can see here, the canvas is totally ruined. I mean, there's nothing uh, salvageable here except for the aluminum panels and the, uh, the uh, metal frame underneath it the rest of this is just totally ruined this is a sad sight here but uh and i'm not res totally responsible for this but uh for this condition but uh it wasn't in very good shape when i got it but this is a, ki a cadet 2000 or 200 model uh you see the interior upholstery all that's just ruined that's totally ruined so i'm wondering whether or not to to try and restore it it would it would definitely be a labor of love if i did that um i would have to get everything basically get, gut it down to the bare frame and just re rebuild it from scratch i mean uh like i say i guess i guess these side panels are salvageable i don't know i mean you see the i'm sure there's a a wood uh piece of wood in that but that would all have to be replaced and so you now surprisingly the bottom underneath it is not as bad as you would think um you know you've got a metal frame under here with with a uh, plywood but the, I mean, the plywood looks fairly solid but I, i'm sure i would probably have to rip that out too but uh <clears throat> so anyway had a lot of good memories in this camper. Uh, we went camping in it before back in the uh, early 80s. And uh, it kind of got out of the family and I got it back. I didn't, when I got it back, it wasn't in this bad a condition, but I don't have a, a, anything to put it under. And I knew I was going to have to replace the canvas anyway, so I didn't take too much effort to cover it. But now it's totally, there's nothing in it really that can be salvaged now. So, um but I knew I was going to have to redo it anyway, so like I said, I wasn't that concerned about covering it. Uh, and I've had it a couple of years, so. Uh, but this is, I mean, everything in it is soaked. Uh, totally soaked. That's totally nasty in there. All kind of insects in there. Um, so anyway. Do you think this thing is worth, worth salvaging for the... For the nostalgia and the uh, and the uh, history behind it, as far as it being uh, in our family, do you think this is a worthwhile? It would be a, a nice little camper. It doesn't weigh anything. It, it less weighs less than a thousand pounds uh, when it is uh, uh, not not packed out or anything. So it's a it's a very lightweight small unit, um, and surprisingly, I. I found out that it, it actually did have a an electrical connection. I totally forgot about that. It's probably one electrical outlet in there. Remember, this was the mid '70s. So uh, anyway, I may have more on this camper as I go along. I'm thinking about just gutting it out, taking all the rotten stuff out of it, and getting it down to a bare frame. What you think about it? Uh, these were good little campers back in the day. Uh, leave me a comment. Let you let me know what you think I need to do with it. See ya.